Hello, welcome once again to my channel. This is healingcenterng.gmail.com at gmail.com and here we are bringing to you the video for the week and I'm going to share with you something powerful, the testimony of how God delivered me from the jaws of death. Have you ever had that near death experience whereby you never knew where you are until you just opened your eyes and saw that people surrounded you and they were like praising God that you'll see a life. I've been in that situation. It was a bizarre situation and I have several of them but I'm going to share with you a couple of them that will actually bring a turn around in your life. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our subsequent videos as they come. Click the thumbs up, like. Alright, to get started on this video, I talked about that today we are going to be looking at the near-death experiences I've heard in the past. There are quite a number of testimonies of how God delivered me from the jaws of death. One of them is was a, a particular day I was on a bike going somewhere and by the time the bike did a U-turn, the only thing I could remember was that U-turn and then I, I passed out as if a car hit us and then by the time I, I opened my eyes I saw people surrounding me telling the bad guy that he's going to pay for this guy, he's gonna, they're going to deal with him, they're going to kill him but immediately I opened my eyes and stood up they said thank God you are lucky that this guy is still alive. That was how God delivered me from what would have been a near death encounter. Then another powerful incident I have was one day, I was still very much younger that period and I was on top of this uh, bicycle, tricycle rather, just tri climbed upon a tricycle to pick something on top of the wardrobe. And that was the last thing I could remember, that the, the, the tricycle slipped off. That was my last, you know, last conscious state until I now passed out and came back. When I came back, I was sweating. I was on top of the bed. My elder sister that was staying with us was beside me crying, weeping, because it, she thought I was gone. I was no more. Then all of a sudden, I opened my eyes and sweat was all over my body. That was when they knew oh, this young man is still alive. Wow, great, awesome. But I can tell you, it is not a child's play. This testimony I'm going to share now is one of the biggest ever because I've actually seen the dead come back to life. Yes, you may ask, is it possible for you to see the dead come back to life? Very much possible. I saw it happen in my very eyes. I never knew it was possible until it happened. I knew that there is power in the name of Jesus. And when it happened, it boosted my morale to know that there are things, there are on, 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 on scratch, we are just scratching the surface. We have not even scratched the real deal. We have not even dig inside to see the mystery. This is just scratching the surface and that was an eye opener. It made me to understand there is more. We have to be thirsty for more, to see more of the miracles. You have to be thirsty. Then when that thing opened my eyes, I, I remember we went for an outreach and that outreach was so superb that I was moved to even pray. You know, pray for people with all manner of issues, people who, are, who, people who are maimed, people who are, you know, blind, people who have eye problems. And there was miracle. People got their healings. Even somebody dropped his medical glass to show that the power of God was present in that meeting to touch people. And he actually touched people who connected by faith. And here they are, people dropping whatsoever they use as aid to either help themselves to see clearly or people who are on a wheelchair. There were miracles. God healed. Even though there were the ones I wanted to see, like the cripple walk and it didn't happen. But for that little, it was an... Then eventually, I had what I call a near-death experience. This experience is, in fact, is going to take me much more than the little time I had on this uh, video to share but I'm going to start all the same and see how far we can go I remember that day I was at work and uh, all of a sudden I felt you know as if somebody was withdrawing breath from me you know somebody was pulling me on my lungs or trying to withdraw breath from my lungs and I was I was I was restless I was trying to you know catch a breath and eventually when the my colleagues in the office noticed what was happening that was how they organized the driver say take this guy home and they took me home i came back whatsoever i can lay hands on i put them in my mouth because i was thinking this because i haven't eaten what happened was that i got home I, I i i was i was i was screaming i was rolling on the bed 
because I have never had that experience in a long while. Even though I have lived with that experience, the pain, the agony, the attack, but that one was so bizarre that I felt, you know, the devil wanted to end it here and I'm ready for him. So what now happened was that at the middle of the night, I vomited everything I ate, everything in my stomach. I threw up everything. Around 2 a.m. in the morning, that was the last time I went to the restroom to, to throw up. After that, there was nothing in my stomach. When I mean nothing, there, my stomach was practically empty. There was nothing inside. And at that point, I don't know, something... At that point, something within me was like, man, you are going. As I laid back on the bed, I just realized that my spirit man was leaving my body. My spirit man was leaving my body. I stood up. I started speaking into the heavens. I said, the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in me and quickens my mortal body. I and my father are one. He that is from above is above all. Therefore, I'm above all principalities and powers. I'm seated with Christ in the heavens. I was speaking, but because there was no longer strength in me, I managed to, you know, lay back on the bed again. And the spirit man wanted to leave the body. I stood. I started declaring again, started speaking to the heaven. The spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in me and quickens my mortal body. I was speaking to the heavens. I was declaring every word I have within me. I was speaking it. I said, the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in me and quickens my mortal body. I was speaking. I was speaking. Why? Because I knew there were power in the words I speak. So I kept speaking. When death was knocking, I was speaking life. I said, the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in me and quickens my mortal body. I was speaking it. I knew what I was saying. I knew I was fighting a battle between life and death and I must win. Something within me knew that you're going to win this fight. You're not going to give up. You're not going to let go. And that was the second time I lay back on the, you know, on the bed for the third time. And hell is what? When I laid back again on the, uh, on the bed, the, for the third time, the spirit man wants to leave my body. I sat up. I knew that if I had laid back again and stayed there, I would be a dead man. I sat up. I put my back on the wall. I started declaring into heavens. I said, the spirit that raised Jesus dwells in me and quickens my mortal body. I and my father are one. He that is from above is above all. Yet I'm above all principalities and powers and I'm seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Who is the head and I'm complete in him. As I was speaking, something was happening in the spirit realm. And just on assignment we at work to ensure that I am alive. And I declared it to the point where I knew that it was done. At that point, I knew that I had defeated the devil. I knew that the devil has lost the battle. I knew that I had won. And when I knew that, do you know what happened? That same morning, that same day, I got an information. A news came from the village that I lost a dear cousin. And somebody said a word that passed me that actually got me thinking. He said, the man misfired. Regarding, referring to the, the boy's dad, I was trying to send death to me. The death went back and took his first son. You know, that thing made me, got me thinking that could there be any form of diabolic activity surrounding this attack I had, surrounding this experience I had. I was thinking about that for a while. I put it in my mind and I decided to let go and continue with life. But that particular experience showed me. So from that particular time, I knew that there is power in a spoken word. So what I want to bring to your attention, the reason why I'm sharing this testimony is to tell you, you may have a loved one who is a, you know, going through a near-death experience. Probably you've given up. But I want you to know that God is still not done with him or her yet. You have to stand in between life and death to bring him back to life or bring her back to life. We're going to be praying together in the next 60 seconds. We're going to be calling back the dead, you know, back to life. We are going to call them from the land of the dead, bringing them back alive, alive and well. That is the purpose of this very video, you know, to tell you that God can do all things. So let us pray. Can we pray? Just lay your hands, stretch your hands on the phone, the picture of that loved ones of yours. Or if you are very close to the person, just lay your hands on the person as we declare life. 
The Bible said the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you and quickens your mortal body. Therefore, I speak life to that death situation. I speak life to your loved one. I speak resurrection as we just celebrated the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus that gave us victory. I speak life to that your loved one. I speak life to the body, to the system, to everything that has collapsed and is cold. Let warmness come in. Let life come in right now from the crown of your head from the, to the uh, sole of his feet or her feet in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please, this prayer is very important and it's the very last prayer we are going to be making. If you've not given your life to Jesus, I want you to do that in the next 30 seconds. Just pray after me. Say, Dear Lord, thank you for your word. I give my life to you. Forgive me my sins. Erase my name from the book of death. Write it in the Lamb's book of life. Take my life and make a miracle out of it in Jesus' name. Thank you for making this decision. I welcome you to the family of God. I encourage you to study the word of God and pray and your life will not be the same. Remember, if you're new on this channel, to subscribe to our video and click the thumbs up button share this video with a loved one and let the power of god flow through you and reach to them and bring healing and hope to them keep winning and see you in our next video bye for now